Identity. Is it a piece of plastic, the clothes we wear, places that we go, or our personality? Is it the way others see us, or is it the gender roles society teaches? All that really matters is the way people see themselves and their own pursuit for self-actualization, the highest and final need of Maslow's hierarchy. One friend's way of defining himself will allow him to experience something most men never will. Meet Brandon. Well, I've chosen an identity for myself, and that identity, um, her name is Alex O'Neill. 20 or 30 minutes here, I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble and really see what it's like um, acting like a girl in public. Then after that, go to the bars. Did like, pretend I'm your girlfriend right now, who just spent like the last seven hours getting ready on her prom stuff, and you go, oh, it's all right. I mean, no, no I, I didn't, did I say all right? I bet you said, oh, it looks great, but you didn't say that like, in a way it's convincing at all. So, like, if I can understand how females react, and it's like, well, like, I just won't go to that effort again. It's fine. I actually think you look very believable right now. Like, so. That's... But you're not happy to be seen with me. So, get me close. Stop being embarrassed me, for God's sake. Is it good convincing or is it like weird? No, it's, it's, I mean, you look like a woman. Well, yeah, that's a good idea, you know? I mean, the scarf makes you look like you have boobs. very much not so much a split identity, then it is a part of my original identity that I've been a crossdresser ever since I started really growing up as a person since sixth grade. And so this for me is not so much splitting my identity than it is an affirmation of who I am. And who I am is a guy who gets a kick out of dressing like a girl. I don't think there is ever going to be a way to truly understand what another person's experience is, whether that's gender or just individual differences. Um, I mean, yeah, if you try and cross-dress and even successfully look like the other sex, you're still not going to fully understand what that's like because you're not going to be a woman from the time you're, birth like you're born. You're not going to have the memories of being a little girl and then changing into a woman and how society treats you differently at every stage of your life and you're still gonna have a very different perspective because you're one of the few that want to change and want to see that other perspective. Gets you out of your uh, safe zone and just kind of makes you experience something, especially if you go out in public, because people view you in a completely different way, especially if they can tell that you're a man in women's clothing. I think it's definitely something worth trying to understand because we're never going to understand the problems that go along with being the other gender. If we don't, if we don't even try to understand, then, you know, how can we ever solve, you know, the problems? Just dressing as a girl, something as small as, um, as, as nail polish or something like eyelashes or something like that, they can lead to a whole gateway of discoveries in the female community. I think it's very hard to understand who you are um, ever and so when you're going out and you're showing someone something about yourself and you are performing in a way, you're performing in a way that makes, that you think is most likely to get the reaction that you want to get.